family has won a $5 million settlement from a neighboring country club after they were, in their words, terrorized by golf balls. Now, the home was on a golf course. So when I first saw this story, I was like, <laughs> was there any false advertisement here? But no, it turns out that they were wronged and there was an easy solution. It seems like the country club kind of denied them that easy solution until they took legal action against the country club. So let me give you the details. Flying balls shattered windows in their house with such force, they sent glass spraying into the next room. The siding on the house was peppered with circular dents, like a battleship in a war zone. Fearful, neighbor children wore bicycle helmets when they went out to play. Oh, when they weren't just bicycling. I was gonna say, shouldn't they be? You mean regular yeah. playing, okay. Yeah. That sounds like the beginning of a Pixar movie. Like the poor family that lives right in the middle of a golf game, it's just constantly getting hit. <laughs> like bombarded with, yeah. Golf. yeah. Now, in four years since moving in, Eric and Athena uh, Tenz, Tenzar uh, have picked up nearly 700 balls on their property. They no longer fix the broken windows, but instead cover them in thick plastic sheeting. They even built a parti partition to shield a small section of their deck from flying objects. A golf shot, la uh, a golf shot last fall took out a deck railing. Dude, like, I didn't realize that those balls were so powerful. Exactly. Don't underestimate it. They're them. hollow. They'll sneak like, up on you. Yeah. Yeah. But you, want you, you just gotta whip them, whip them. Whip them forward, it'll be it. yeah. Whip them forward, all yeah, right. You know, with the club. Uh, Athena was quoted as saying, when it hits, it sounds like a gunshot. Jeez. And Eric said, we're always on edge. Yeah. So they were like living in fear of these balls. And look, to be fair to them, not only was it damaging their property, it could cause serious damage to their children, to themselves. Like it could hurt them, injure them. It's noisy too. Like you don't want to hear that oh, in the middle of the night. Well, terrifying. I'm assuming maybe not in the middle of the night, but, but throughout the, the day. Middle of the yeah. day. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. they finally took legal action. Uh, they sued the Indian Pond Country Club for trespass over the continual bombardment and won a permanent injunction against golf balls on their property. After a six day trial in Plymouth Superior Court, a jury on December 6th awarded them $3.5 million for damages and mental and emotional suffering. With interest, the award totals $4.9 million, thus Damn. the nearly $5 million that they won through this civil trial. And so this could have all easily been avoided. And I wanna tell you how, okay? Because it turns out that the country club later made the changes that they could have just made from the very beginning. The country club has since reconfigured the tree box for the 15th oh, hole. Tea box. Oh, sorry. So I don't tea know. off from. Yeah, yeah, that's right, the yeah. tea box. The country club has since reconfigured the tea box for the 15th hole. And they say that it's been months since they've seen a single ball on their property. That's Look, I don't know how difficult it is to make that change. It seems pretty easy. That seems pretty simple, yeah. Why didn't they just make that change from the beginning? Mm. Did they like maybe I, they were under the assumption that like they're not going to take legal action and if they do, people yeah. are going to have the jury is likely to have the same reaction I did when I read the headline, which is you bought a house on a golf course, you should expect this, right? Yeah, well, it's not on the golf course, right? I thought it was across the street from the golf course. I thought it was overlooking I mean, the golf course. It's look, really close. It's very, very close. And by yeah. the way, the couple tried to figure out other solutions before taking legal action. So they brought in like contractors to consider like building some netting. That's what I would have considered. I thought that would be the solution for the golf course. But to no, do. apparently it was impossible to build the netting high enough to avoid the golf balls. Let's dome it. Who wants to have a freaking netted dome above their house? Like oh, that that's crazy. Cool. I don't know. I don't Do you sell birds? You're, you're insane. Parachutists? You're, you're crazy. No. Uh, Can't get in. I would. And by the way, I mean, if, if you do have to go to that extreme level, like, do you pay for it? Do you get the country club to or pay for it? Or do you even it? buy a dome? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, no, this seems like an easy solution and they could have saved, I'm gonna guess, $4.85 million by doing it that way. Yeah. yeah, I mean, totally. I mean, I don't know why they didn't do that from the beginning. But that's the thing, like the country club probably just felt like, no, these people have no power over us. There's there's no way a jury would side with them. And it turns out the jury did side with them because they had so many examples of how 
A, like how easily this could have been dealt with, right? And B, just how bad the situation was for this particular house. Yeah. Now, there's also like a design flaw here, right? Like, so when the house was constructed, did they not consider the issue? I don't know. But well, I mean, it's also possible that the golf course was reconfigured at some point, maybe. Probably, yeah, maybe. that's a possibility. But um, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I wouldn't want to live near a golf course. Like, uh, if it just just live there, no. But if you were to tell me that eventually I could get four point nine million dollars, you could hit my house with so many golf balls. Hell yeah! Baseball, Pepper softballs, it, bowling balls. I don't care. Pineapples. You can throw whatever you want. <laughs> you could pelt this house from orbit for four point nine million dollars. <laughs> All right. Still, I imagine it was tra traumatizing. Oh, terrifying. Yeah, yeah I, I feel bad it. for them. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.